Everyone, back to you into this one's video. It's Monday at GasWebbies.com, which means only one thing. It's Europe Day. Every Monday, have a look at the weather for the coming week across the continent. And today is no exception. Now, saying that I do it every week, I won't be uh, doing the European Outlook next Monday, actually, because I uh, usually record the European Outlook on Sunday evenings. And next Sunday, I'm going to be uh, very busy recording the final and official uh, GasWebbies.com winter 2014-2015 forecast. Um, so I won't have time to do European Outlook next week. That's for the UK, the winter forecast for the UK, but it will have implications for Europe as well of course. Um, so the European Outlook will be returning uh, after, after today in a couple of weeks time but next uh, Monday, Monday the 1st of December is when the winter forecast will be released, probably uh, in the evening on Monday the 1st of December. Very exciting times uh, for anybody who wants to know what winter may be doing. Now before you go on, if that's just about the ads, there's links to articles sitting above the weather video here on homepage at gaslovers.com and just click uh, through the uh, widget and go off and read those articles if you're interested in uh, anything that's showing up there. Um, also to say about the website that I'm using for uh, for the European Outlook, it's westchannel.de by the link that I'm willing to pay. So let's get on with it. And um, this is today's rather uh, messy stock tip pressure chart. We've got uh, high pressure trying to reach through uh, the northwest of Europe, through some parts of England and down into northern France. Slack pressure uh, further south over the uh, central western bold Mediterranean through Spain and Portugal. A uh, cold air, high pressure now, got very cold air underneath it across uh, east parts of Europe and into western Russia. I mean, area of road pressure bringing rain, sleet and snow into Scandinavia. Here's the upper air temperature showing that the north of the east has turned quite a bit cooler now. It's still pretty warm through the Mediterranean in terms of the upper air temperatures. Um, and in the Med, it is actually still uh, quite warm, ready for the time of year. The uh, dew points show that the coldest of the air is over in the east of Europe and back into west of Russia under that area of high pressure. Elsewhere, the dew points aren't too bad, really. Um, not all that far from what you would expect really at this time of year but uh, nothing particularly warm in the north of Europe the warmth is really down in the uh, south so this area of precipitation here across Scandinavia is stretching down into northern parts of Germany and Poland it is outbreaks of rain, sleet and snow. Snow, of course, mainly the central, northern, east parts of Scandinavia, rain uh, further south. Then we go further east, it's mostly dry and that very, very cold area of high pressure. Over in the Mediterranean, a lot of dry weather in the east, but showers or thunderstorms perhaps in the west, particularly through Corsica, Sardinia in southern parts of uh, Spain as well. And then mostly dry going up to the north. There could be some heavy showers, some parts of France, but much of France, low countries, uh, western Germany, largely dry, um, as is most of the United Kingdom, just some cloud and outbreaks rain in the far northwest of Scotland and coming into Northern Ireland. It's cold in the far east of Europe, temperatures there are more or less sub-zero all day now, but uh, elsewhere we're sort of near normal with the temperatures really across the central Europe, 7s, 8s, 9s. Um, I mean, it's warmer further south, so much of southern, central southern France is still very warm, up to 90 degrees, 66 Fahrenheit, and it is warm uh, through the Mediterranean also. <coughs> Excuse me. So as we go into the middle part of the week, uh, we keep high pressure there over into the east of Europe and the cold air is beginning to dig in. I'll show you the dew points in a moment, but it's turning colder in the uh, east of Europe. Elsewhere, very slack uh, sort of pressure patterns, really. Uh, this big area of road pressure out of the Atlantic is trying to come in and probably become more influential later on in period. But through uh, midweek anyway, uh, not a great deal going on in terms of the surface pressure pattern. Upper air temperatures show that the coolest air is in the north and the east again. It's warmest out in the west and down through the Mediterranean. There's that very cold air uh, with the dew points, the uh, low level air, really, really cold uh, low level air, uh, moving out of Russia in towards many eastern parts of Europe. That's coming all the way down in towards the Balkans through the middle part of the week. So many central east parts of Europe turning very cold uh, through the middle part of the week. It's pretty cold up over uh, Norway and Sweden as well, but elsewhere out in the west of Europe, uh, the uh, dew points aren't too at all. Heavy rain or thunderstorms there through central southern parts of France coming down into the central Mediterranean could uh, getting towards Corsica and Sardinia perhaps and then over towards uh, Italy although perhaps not quite getting into Italy. Um, showers up through the British Isles and going up the North Sea in towards maybe just fringing in towards the low country but otherwise not a great deal going on. Some rain coming into Portugal but most of Spain and Portugal largely dry and then over through eastern parts of Europe it is a dry scene really as is through much of Scandinavia albeit 
cold, uh, but it is mostly dry, bitterly cold, of course, over in towards the eastern uh, part of Europe. There's the uh, temperatures going well below freezing all day in the far east of Europe, so maximums of minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, possibly uh, no more than minus 5, minus 6 through some parts of Ukraine uh, by the time we get through towards the middle of the week. Cooler as well for Central Europe, so Germany is around 5 or 6 degrees, as is uh, many parts of Poland. Uh, still warm for France, temperatures there 13, 14, 15, and pretty cool in the United Kingdom and Ireland as well. And it's warm through the Mediterranean, over the southeast part of Med is turning cold as that cold air dinks down from the uh, northeast. Going into the uh, last stages of week, low pressure taking over over Spain and Portugal, so that could be some really wet weather uh, down through Iberia and possibly into North Africa as well. The high pressure still there in the east of Europe. Central parts getting this uh, southerly push, so it may be starting to warm up a bit at the end of the week. There's the upper air temperatures lifting up across many central western parts of Europe as we go through into the uh, end of the week. The cold air is up to the northeast in terms of those upper air temperatures. Look how cold the dew points are uh, coming into eastern parts of Europe at the end of the week. It's going to be bitterly cold uh, for many eastern parts of Europe um, towards the end of the week, and that backs in towards western parts of Russia as well. Conversely, out in the west, the dew points are still pretty warm, so you shouldn't have to worry about frost over there. Uh, there's the heavy rain coming into Spain and Portugal at the end of the week, also impacting uh, many parts of North Africa as well, particularly Morocco. It could be very, very wet as we get in towards the latter stage of the week. Heavy showers and thunderstorms breaking out through much of the central bowl of the Mediterranean. Down into the southeast of Europe, it is drier. I mean, most other parts of Europe actually uh, on the dry side, a lot of dry weather as we go through into the end of the week. Bitterly cold up in the northeast and the east of Europe by the end of the week. Temperatures perhaps no uh, higher than minus 7 or minus 8 under that high pressure. Um, and of course, night times will be even colder than that, possibly minus 14, minus 15 across some parts of eastern and northeast Europe. So the uh, winter really, really setting in over in the east and the northeast. Um, through Germany, it's warming up a little bit, uh, particularly in the west of Germany, up to 10 or 11 degrees, still quite chilly in the east of Germany, but out into the west of Europe, again, uh, pretty mild, very mild for many parts of France. I think southern France is going to be okay, really, this week. Could be some thunderstorms midweek, but uh, that's a place to go, I would suspect, if you want some late season walk down towards the Côte d'Azur. Okay, we go through to the weekend very quickly, and high pressure is bridging through the Atlantic in towards all the parts of France, and then extending into that very cold high pressure uh, that's in the east of Europe. Low pressure trying to break it down from the Atlantic, so uh, areas of wet and windy conditions heading into Scotland, possibly some rain, sleet and snow coming into Norway as well. And then this slap pressure down here through the Med could be producing heavy rain and thunderstorms next weekend. The upper air temperatures are beginning to push that cold air a little further back in towards western Russia, but most parts of Europe are going to be warm, I think, actually, in terms of the upper air temperatures, mild in terms of the upper air temperatures. Uh, it will be colder, though, down on the surface. The really, really cold uh, continental low-level air continues in the east and the northeast of Europe next weekend. Elsewhere, the dew points are actually recovering a little bit uh, through central as the mildest weather, as it is all week, really, is out into the west of up. Um, rainfall shows got heavy showers or thunderstorms extending through much of the Mediterranean as we're going uh, to next weekend, uh, starting off over towards eastern parts of Spain, um, perhaps through uh, the Costas, and then going through the central part of the Mediterranean, through Corsica, Sardinia, through Italy, and down in towards Greece and Turkey as well. And uh, some of this is around the Balkans as it engages with that cold air uh, could turn to stoke. Lots of dry weather through central parts of Europe, and then out to the north west that's just the signs there that the Atlantic starting to bring wet and windy weather into the far northwest of Europe uh, again by next weekend um, and the temperatures well the very coldest of the area is still up in the northeast but it may be starting to get pushed back just a little bit as we get through towards next weekend <coughs> excuse me much of central Europe will be uh, on the chilly side, although warming up compared to middle and last stage of the week, but the mildest weather, as it is all week, is in the west, so through Ireland, United Kingdom, France, and down in Spain, Portugal, and then over through the Med, it is a very mild scene, as we get through to next weekend. So, in summary, it looks as though uh, the winter is really set in for the northeast and the east of Europe this week. going to be bitterly cold with some very, very cold temperatures by day and by night, severe frost. Um, elsewhere, the warmest weather is in the west, central parts, 
rather chilly. Quite a lot of dry weather as well, although Tony Moore has settled with heavy rain and storms in the med by the end of the week and into next weekend. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Know you're being out next week. Remember, uh, it'll be back in a couple of weeks. That's all for now. Bye for now.